वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द अनदर वीडियो सो आईओएस 26 आरसी अपडेट इज आउट एंड हियर आर कपल ऑफ फीचर्स आई वांट टू टॉक अबाउट दोस फीचर्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल आल्सो बी शेयरिंग गीक बेंच स्कोर एंड सम मोर स्टफ सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स गेट डाइव इनटू दिस वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आरसी इज आउट एज इट वाज एक्सपेक्टेड राइट आफ्टर द इवेंट देयर आर न्यू आईफोन एंड मेनी मोर स्टफ I will be talking about those things in a separate video. So this video is completely focused on with what is new with the iOS 26 RC update. Now, first thing first, I want to talk about the iOS 26 RC build number. So definitely, I will get into the um settings over here. We will go to general about section and over here it is 23A340 as you can see. This is the iOS 26 RC build number. which is quite cool um if i go over here and go into the more details i'm not able to get into more details but there are a lot of stuff that is going on so once the um official release will out i will be talking about every other feature of ios 26 but however here is ios 26 rc update so let's start what is new and so there are new stuff going on in the fitness app so when you open the fitness app for the first time this is the splash screen that you will see now you can track workouts and during workouts you can play media and music so let me get into the uh, fitness app over here so let's get to the fitness app this is the new tab over here this was the main um summary page and this is there here the new tab here are new workouts as you can see by tapping on this plus button you can add more workouts which is quite nice and if i go over here and show you another splash screen when you go to the workout this is the workout splash screen there is a workout buddy option also available you can track your data and again during your workouts automatically play your favorite music podcast or recommended songs based on your listening history so this is also here nice the feature over here if i get back to the fitness app over here i want to show how the ui looks like so i just need to turn on this over here and go back and now it is like working now i can start the this um so let me do this let's begin this hello while using the app and as you can see it is starting the uh, my walk it is outdoor walk and this is how the ui looks like and workout check in lock controls if i lock the controls this is how it oh my god this slide to unlock after like how many years i don't i don't know but after so many years feel so um amazing this is over here you can do it and again this here is the workout also when you do this this workout goes into your um into your dynamic island for the live activity and this is how it looks like really nice you can also pause it right from here i guess and yes you can do it and you can also start it right from here so that is also you know cool and also it shows the live activity over here on your lock screen so yeah really cool Um, these are all the fitness features that are available with the iOS 26 RC and will be in the official update. So I really like it. It is here. That's you know quite useful. Um, now going to the what is more there in the iOS 26 RC is definitely something new in the health app, and that is this sleep score. And it is available with all Apple watches. Um, also. um it tracked my sleep score using my mi band 6 so it is available for everyone it's not about only apple watches i think it is for the everyone i use mi band 6 over here and if i go to the mi band app like if i get to the zip app over here as you can see my sleep score was 67 i slept around 6 hours and 15 minute over here as you can see and if i go over here my sleep score is bit different it's 78 over here and sleep time is same 6 hours and 15 minute which means it is you know try, you know calculating your score in a some different way and this app the default um mi bad 6 app is calculating stuff in a different way but again it's there it's cool i really like it also when you get over here and get to edit and go to custom no not cust to customize actually go over here get to edit and get to add widget Now there is a sleep widget that is also available. So yeah, no new widget available. I was using this old widget over here as you can see, but I will add one more widget to check my score. So that is another thing that is also over here. 
Now, there are also few changes in the customized section over here. When you get into the customized section, you get into the tinted section over here. There are two new different options. Now, this will choose the color according to your iPhone. And definitely, this for the newer iPhones. You can see I cannot select it. So, you know, when new iPhones are out, I might be able to show you that. And over here, this option is for your case. So, definitely depends upon the case is supported or not. I think it is going to be an Apple default case. So, whatever case you are rocking, um, it is going to be uh, that color. Um, I want to try out basically one thing. I do have a one copy of um, Apple case. Let's see if that works with this one. Although that case is for iPhone 14, but I definitely want to try it. So, let me bring out that case. Okay, so this is an old case. Um, if you follow me for a long while, you might know about this. I used to have iPhone 14. I want to try out. I know it will not fit it, but when you, you know, there are rings that will, you know, bring the, um, that Apple case fit in sign. Let's see if this works with this. I know it is not going to work. What I'm doing is a bit crazy. So it didn't work at all as you can see it didn't work i'm very sorry what i'm trying to do is it's a bit crazy so just remove it it's way different than the iphone 14 i know it but let me just bring it out okay coming back to the video what i was trying to do is i was trying to see if it catches the color of that but that is for iphone 14 and it didn't support it even this ring didn't support it the newer iphone but yeah it is over here if you want to try out this you can do but I'm not into, you know, killer icons or tinted icons. I always prefer the light version or this darker version. It looks, for some reason, I like this much better than this. But these are some of the changes that are available with the, um, with the iOS 26 RC update. Now, I want to talk about the Geekbench score over here. So, I did run the Geekbench score results are a bit crazy. I got, um, if I go over here, this other latest result. 3341 on a single core, 8468 on a multi core. Single core is higher than the average one. Multi core is also higher than the average one. Um, these are not the best scores. I definitely know it will get better after using it for a couple of days, but this is the first impression. If I go and show you the GPU benchmark, that is 27900 metal score, which is quite higher than the average one. And this one is a good score. Uh, so yeah, that is a nice sign that we are, might be getting a really good performance. In terms of battery life, I still have to test it out and I will be bringing a 24-hour test video very, very soon. But I can't say anything much about the battery life. Now, about the iOS 26 release, the official release is pretty much confirmed. It is going to be next Monday, that is going to be 15th September. So if you are using older iPhone then you haven't, you're still using maybe iOS 18 like on this device you should wait for this update and it is gonna rock your device and I will be making a full fledged video about every other feature so yeah grab your puff cause make sure to grab your puff cause for that video that video will be live on 15 September so yeah that's all from this video that's everything um, iOS 26 RC is offering and I hope to get you guys in my next video until then take care peace out